So we're gonna make three different versions of an avocado toast. I'm gonna start by making the avocado base, just a few ingredients, some avocados, some scallions, lime juice, cilantro, and then we can pump up the flavor and the creativity with lots of different uh, combinations of ingredients. First of all, let's make the avocado base. A little squeeze of lime. So I'm gonna add some green onions to this. I love the flavor of green onions. I love the pungency of it all. I want those bold flavors. Cilantro, some salt and pepper. If you notice, I'm just going to kind of mix it once or crush it one time because we want that nice chunky texture. That's just my preference. I was the kid that when you were picking the peanut butter, I was always crunchy, always. So that's good. Let's make some toast. All right, we're gonna start making our egg salad for our first avocado toast. I have some hard boiled eggs here, and I'm gonna grate the eggs. You can actually chop them if you want, but if you just use the cheese grater, it goes really quickly, and I actually like the texture of it that way. We're gonna add some Dijon mustard and some creme fraiche, and some shallots. So Dijon is a little spicy, the creme fraiche is nice and creamy, a little bit tart, and the shallot's gonna give it a little bit of crunch. A little salt and pepper. A little bit of fresh dill. It's got such great flavor. It's one of the things I like about like Eastern European food and Greek food. I'm just gonna mix this up. I'm gonna use the pumpernickel for this, which has a little molasses in there. Just lightly brush the olive oil on top. I'm gonna broil our pumpernickel. Now you can toast your bread in lots of different ways. I'm actually using my broiler. You can grill your bread outside on a grill or in a grill pan, or you can actually just put it in a toaster. Okay. I'm gonna put the rest of the toast in the broiler as we make our first avocado toast. Okay, we can start the avocado toast parade. And what I like to do is just put a very thin layer of avocado Think of it almost like butter. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of radicchio. You'll see it in lots of Italian and Mediterranean cuisine. This is gonna give it a little bit of that peppery flavor. And then we take some of our egg salad. So pretty. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of dill right on top of the egg salad. And it really looks beautiful on that pumpernickel bread too. So this is gonna be smoked salmon, a little bit of dill with the avocado. So again, very thin layer of the avocado. And then a little bit of smoked salmon. So you have like thin slices of smoked salmon. You just kind of let it drop into the avocado. Don't push it down. Paper thin slices. I'm gonna add a little bit of creme fraiche right on top of this as well. Avocado, smoked salmon, and dill. And we have one more to do. Who knew avocado toast could be so much fun, right? We're just gonna take some Fresno chili. Looks like a red jalapeno. Just drop some chilies right on top. A Little bit of lime zest. And then a little bit of extra cilantro. That's what you wanna hear, you wanna hear that crunch. There it is, the parade of avocado toast. <laughs>